Wow, this was a really good year for Sonic. The second movie was great, Sonic Origins seems to be a fun collection, and we're getting Frontiers and Prime later this year. I wonder what they're going to do to celebrate the series 31st anniversary with all of the stuff we're getting. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I think it's come to everyone's attention that the recent designs Sega has been using for the Sonic games are... Uh, what are the right words to describe them? Ah yes, a horrible abomination on this earth that cannot be forgiven for its sins. Okay, to be fair, they're not bad models. I might even go as far as to say they're decently made. Because I see a lot of fan works that use these models and animations and renders and they look really good. I don't know if it's just Sega being lazy or they don't have the right people doing the renders. But they're doing these designs a real disservice when we could be having renders like this, but instead we get... ill. Even though these models aren't inherently bad, I definitely think they have overstayed their welcome, no thanks to Sega's misuse of them. Even some of the 2D illustrations that are done by Yuji Uokawa have been feeling a little stiff and lack character. No disrespect to him, I think he is a very talented artist. He's honestly a huge inspiration to my work. But I feel like since his illustrations go so hand in hand with the games, maybe he tries to make them closely resemble the game models, thus leading a lot of his pieces to feel the same and lack character. But again, not bad by any means. There's a lot of his newer works that I really like, but I just feel these designs are holding him back. So I'm here today to propose new redesigns for the four main characters of the Sonic cast, that being Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. I'm going to give my reasoning as to why I made certain changes and to give you a better understanding of where I'm coming from on what they can change. As much as I would love to make new models as I'm directing more of my criticisms towards the ones they're using now, I don't have that much knowledge in 3D modeling, let alone lighting, texturing, and rigging. So just keep in mind that these illustrations will carry the same elements in 3D as they do in 2D. With all of that said, let's get into the first redesign, the main boy himself, Sonic. The first thing I want to mention and the main thing I tried to focus on are the proportions. I wanted to give his whole body to be sort of a middle ground between modern and classic as I feel like modern Sonic is too lanky where it feels awkward and I feel like classic's proportions just wouldn't fit well with the rest of the modern cast. So I feel like this was a good compromise. A huge inspiration was the Sonic Adventure 1 Dreamcast model as I always liked how it was a mix between modern and classic Sonic. Seriously this is an S tier design. Mwah, beautiful. For example, I made the torso more rounded out and more stout, as well as shortening the limbs just a bit. I feel like these proportions are better for two main reasons. One, it makes it so it looks more natural when he's curled up into a ball. And two, it makes him appear younger, like a teen. Whenever I see modern Sonic, I don't know why, but he just gives off the vibe that he's in his mid-twenties. I know this sounds like a weird point to bring up, but I just feel like Sonic being a teen fits in line with his personality more. He's energetic, cocky, and impatient, and I think it's best that his design reflects that. I also gave him rounder shoes that are more reminiscent of the adventure artwork, as they have a nice curve that goes in tandem with his spikes when he's in a ball. They also just fit better as running shoes than the stiff and rigid cinder blocks he has now. And even though it doesn't show in my design, he still does have the buckles on the outer parts of his shoes. Just take, take my word for it. Moving to his head, you can see that I made his spikes a lot thicker and more curved downwards. I've just always been a sucker for how they looked in the early adventure art as I think it looks more dynamic and in your face. The quills he has now look like big blue bananas. Sonic has a case of BBB. Big blue bananas. <laughs> I also made his hands a bit smaller so it could help with better hand movement and animation, like crossing their arms together. Because now they can't even do that without it looking terrible. This goes for the rest of the cast, except for one we'll get into later, but he also has more curved noodle-like limbs instead of the sharp elbows and knees they've been giving him recently, as I feel like it'll allow him to move more freely and cartoony. 
Now those are the bigger adjustments I made. Some of these next changes are more small and are more so to rectify what the current model does wrong. Like in the face, I made it to where his eyes actually curve into his mouth as opposed to being cut off at a weird angle. I gave him thicker eyebrows to give better expressions, ears that curve along his head, and a mouth that is smooth with his face and not this weird lip situation he's got going on. I also made him a darker shade of blue as I always thought it looked better than the light blue as it gives it more of a slight edge. And there you go. Not too bad if I do say so myself. I know when you heard redesign you probably thought it was unnecessary because these characters have gone through so many changes over the years but my goal was to never reinvent the character. But to instead make these small changes where it makes them feel more lively. I'm taking what works, but just tweaking certain things to give it that polish while still keeping the character the same. Now let's move on to a sidekick, Tails. I didn't really change too much of his design, just mostly making small adjustments to make him more alive. I made his torso bigger, so he has a more defined body shape than Sonic. But much like Sonic, I gave him eyes that flow into his mouth better, smaller hands, shorter limbs, a darker fur color with it being closer to orange rather than yellow, unlike Pissy McGear over here. I made his shoes have more defined curves on the sides rather than them being a copy of Sonic's. It makes them appear more like work shoes which fits as he's usually tinkering in his workshop and he doesn't really use his feet to run anyway, so there's no need for running shoes. His tails end at a point and not like these three little dealies at the end. And the last thing I want to bring up which is a very small detail are his cheek tufts. I made them thicker and a more triangular shape. The reason why I pointed this out is because on the 3D models this along with those three little things on the tip of his tail just look way too skinny. They look like spaghetti strands and I don't think it's a nice design choice so I feel like this looks a lot better. Leave it up to me to find most insignificant stuff and complain about it. But yeah, that's Tails. Again, not too different but I feel like these little changes do a better job of showing his childlike appearance. Now for the most drastic redesign so far, Knuckles. Now before you say anything let me explain. For those of you who have seen my How to Draw Knuckles or my animatics, <coughs> shameless plug, <coughs> you know that I hate how Knuckles is so skinny. Like, he's supposed to be the strong one of the group, yet he relatively has the same body type as Sonic. If anything, just stretched out thinner. I guess that's what happens when your diet mostly consists of nothing but grapes. His design just doesn't match what he's supposed to be like. You really have to take his word for it that he's strong. That's why when the second Sonic movie came out, I was so happy that they gave him a more bulky body type. And thankfully it's not as drastic as what Boom did, but it still makes him fit with the rest of the cast while still being different enough. So that's what I did for him here. I took a lot of inspiration from the movie as you can most likely tell. I gave him a much larger chest and thicker limbs, thus making him more sturdy and built like the absolute unit he is. He no longer looks like a pushover and instead looks like someone you wouldn't want to mess with. He still has those big boxing gloves as they're a defining part of his design with spikes that are more rounded off and not so much sharp. He is also the only character so far to not have noodle like limbs as I feel like that would make him come across as more weak. The more bent joints with straighter limbs makes him more rigid and tough. I also gave him more combat like boots, akin to the movie, since combat is what he's known for the most. He also has green socks as opposed to those weird metal like cuffs in his original design. I never really knew what those were and never really cared for them. His head is generally the same, just thicker eyebrows and a narrow snoot that forms into his nose better. I really like how this design came out, and even though I'd like them to fix the issues that Sonic has, if they only had the chance to change one of them, I feel like Knuckles is the one I'd want them to change the most. This just does a way better job of showing off his strength and personality in my opinion. I'm really proud of how this one turned out. And now for the final character, Amy. 
Yeah, like Tails, I didn't really change all too much of her design. At first I was thinking of making her skirt more like a short dress by having it droop down more and having waves and folds in it. But then I thought about it and ultimately decided against it. Because one, it would hide her boots. In which, yeah, I can give her different shoes, but I just really like these boots too much to get rid of them. And two, I thought about the technicality of it. What I mean by this is that her skirt was probably designed like this for a reason, so that they could get better movement out of her legs, and the dress would have been more complicated to animate with it having all those physics. And seeing as how they can't even animate eyebrows properly, God only knows how that would have ended up like. So I felt like it was best to keep it the same. The only part I really changed was the top of her dress as I made it more like the one she has in Prime as I never really liked that it shows her back in her original design. But other than that, the only other changes are those little improvements that I gave to the rest of the cast. The eyes, hands, and limbs, just so she's consistent with the others. So there you go. That's how I would redesign the Sonic cast. Here's a lineup chart for how they would look beside each other. You can see Tails being a lot shorter than the others and Knuckles being significantly taller than the rest, with Amy just being a little shorter than Sonic. I wanted to make these height changes a little more noticeable, as the designs we have now look relatively the same height. This just makes them more varied and unique, you know? I really hope we get a change to the design sometime soon, so they look less like planks of wood and more like living, breathing characters. And what I hope you and possibly Sega if they ever come across this video by any chance that you take away from this video is that you can redesign a character without having to completely change its appearance. You can do slight changes that will further enhance and evolve your character rather than just making something that barely resembles what it once was. A good example is actually Sonic Prime as it still sticks to the main design concepts the characters are based from but changes certain aspects that will benefit them in terms of animation, characterization, and style. It takes what works and enhances it, and that's what I hope I did with my designs. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd like to hear what you guys would change about their designs if you could, or if you like them just the way they are. If this video does well, and if you guys would like to see more, I'd totally be down to make a part 2. I could redesign more characters from the Sonic franchise, just let me know who you'd like to see. But with that said, I'm Dan Specs, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. So I decided just to record a little something for the end card, just to thank you guys for all the support lately. We got over 150 subscribers as the day I'm recording this, and that's just... wow. I'm just thankful that a lot of people have actually came to see my stuff. I never really thought anyone would care to see it, but here you guys are, and I just can't be thankful enough. And it's just really fun that I get to interact with you guys in the comments, and I hope to continue doing that as I go down the line. And I'm sure you guys noticed the new Chris voice audio, as I'm no longer using my gaming headset as a microphone. My girlfriend actually went out and bought me a Blue Yeti, which I cannot thank her enough. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching the video.